Now I'm going to show you the medical module that's part of the survival kit carried by many Air Force pilots. Um, this is the second part of our uh, overview of this survival kit. The first part contains most of the other survival components. This kit, while it contains some more survival gear, is, uh, is focused much more on medical needs. So you can see we've got the inner package here, we've got the outer package here. Um, the outer package has the grommet for tethering, lanyards, that sort of thing. Um, let's go ahead and dump this out and see what's in there. Got the Ziploc style closure there. Here are our contents. Oh, we've got a safety pin still in there. You'll notice this bag again has the two punch outs there. I'm not sure what that's for, but it means the bag can't be used for um, containing, carrying water, um, treating water, that sort of thing. Just kind of an interesting thing. So the major component here is going to be the combat gauze, vacuum packed, Z folded, um, three inch by 40 yards. This can be used to make a wound dressing. This can be used to pack a wound channel. Um, if they've got like a gunshot wound, for instance, or other deep puncture wound, NSN there. Um, yeah, so there's that. Here we've got another piece of compressed gauze. Again, can be used for all the same things that combat gauze can be used for, but combat gauze also helps stimulate clotting so that the wound uh, will stop bleeding, where this is just a sterile packaged combat or compact gauze um, you know with pressure for instance it can help stop bleeding but this actually I believe contains kaolin kaolin um, let's see if it says our active ingredient on here I guess not but yeah that has a clotting agent in it that helps stop bleeding here we've got actually a signal device this is a Silume, um SOL uh, Kim light and I believe this one is infrared Let's see if we can see on here where it says I believe this one's infrared. I don't I'm not seeing oh No, I'm not seeing where it says that but I believe that's what it is So if I pop that open, it'll actually glow for more than 12 hours. We did a test with some of our visible light um, SOL Kim lights like this and they glowed almost 24 hours. I believe that 12 hour rating is actually to 50% brightness. So, you know, the longer it burns, the more it fades. Um, and I believe that 50% brightness is probably the 12 hour mark. We have your typical band-aid style adhesive bandages. Let's see, let's separate all these guys out. These are the one by threes right here. Got the larger ones here. That five of these, four of these, four of the larger ones. Got any others hidden in here? Guess not. So we've got one, two, three, four of the one by threes as well. Then we have our camo vat. Um, actually, that's not what this is. This is just some cohesive bandage. Um, looks like the old ACU camouflage style. This would just be used to wrap and hold your, your wound dressings in place to apply pressure maybe as well. Um, we've got our safety pins. We have our bacitracin antibiotic ointment. We've got moist towelettes. I noticed that these aren't antiseptic. These are just for general, general hygiene, which is actually pretty important um, in a situation where you're having to make do in a really austere environment. We've got our insect towelette, which is nice that it's a towelette, so you can't spill it, it's not gonna ooze out. You can actually probably use it a little bit and store it back in the pouch and it won't dry out, hopefully. Um, it's 30% DEET, you see right there. Uh, and that's interesting to me because I've always thought 100% DEET or close to 100% DEET is like the most effective insect repellent you can get. Turns out 30% is about as effective as it can get. Um, beyond that, it's kind of overkill. 
It doesn't, you don't gain any additional insect protection with higher concentrations of DEET. See, this is up to seven hours maximum effective protection. So that's kind of interesting. Um, likewise, here we've got SPF 30 um, sunscreen lotion towelette. And again, I've always thought, you know, higher SPF ratings are better. But what I've been reading lately is 30% is the maximum effective amount of, uh, of protection. That over that is kind of overkill. It doesn't add any additional protection from sunburn. So, and then of course here we've got our Ceralite rice-based oral rice-based oral electrolyte. So this is for rehydrating. And just feeling it, it feels like that's kind of gummed up inside there. It doesn't feel like that's a powdery kind of thing. It's probably gotten some moisture infiltration over time. So that's uh, those are the contents of this kit. Um, I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching.